What up, YouTube? Back with another video. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Hoping you're having a great day with your family. Okay. Let me introduce everybody into the 220-gallon Predator tank. Fresh water. This tank is six feet long. Two and a half feet tall and two feet wide. Okay, here let me feed feed him his krill. I just uh, did a feeding. Um, I just gave the Oscars everybody a uh, cichlid gold. Now I'm feeding Titan some uh, krill. Freeze dry crow, which he absolutely loves. And before we get into that, let me tell you guys we got new fish in the tank. Pretty exciting. We have two convicts right there. Two convict cichlids. I don't know if they're hybrids, I'm not sure yet. And we have a clown loach. And I think it's um, so cool that wherever those convicts go, He's following them around. It's so cool. I think he thinks he's a convict. <laughs> you know, it's really cool. You know, check him out. Like, it's just them three all the time, you see? He's just going to follow them around the tank. <laughs> they get along great, you know? Check him out. Awesome. We have three iridescent sharks. Sorry to say, I'm not going to keep them. They are like red-tailed catfish. They get extremely large. And just not enough to have, you know, I don't have enough, uh, this tank isn't big enough to uh, house them properly. You need at least 20,000 gallons to house them properly. They get four feet in length, massive appetites. We do not need a lot of swimming room. So 220 gallons, as big as this tank is, just not enough. This is the side profile. They've been in this tank for a week, and they haven't eaten yet. They seem to be fine. I mean, no, I mean, look at them, right? But all they do is swim at this glass right here. They don't do nothing else. <laughs> they don't swim around the tank. They don't, you know, look around. Nothing. They just swim right into this glass right here. Hey, that's what they want to do. That's what they want to do. I have a 12-inch high fin pleco over here. Right in the back right there. He's cool. And you know my arowana, he is two feet long already. And loves his crew. Uh, I did, you guys know all my tanks are normally bare bottom. And uh, I just added the sand. You know, I, you, you guys know, I always like switch it up. Probably in like a month, to be honest. I'll, uh, Switch it back to bare bottom again. <laughs> you know, I'll be like, oh my god, this is, this is messy, blah, 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 and I'll just take it all out. You know, but for now, I love it. I think it looks amazing. Let me back up. I am a little sick. That's why I sound that. You know, the way I sound right now. I'll be fine. I have two Fluval FX6s still on here. They're amazing filters. I poured all the sand in. It took five days. Because, I'll be honest, I was stupid. I didn't rinse the sand. I poured it in there and it took five days with 50% water changes every other day to get this tank clear. It was my fault, but the fish were fine. No big deal. Alright, uh, I just wanted, you know, a quick update, you know, I want to update you guys every week, and, uh, keep you guys, uh, keep you guys informed on what's going on, alright, so, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there once again, like always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Later.